Hello everyone, my name is Delmi Hernandez and my group members are Nicolas Ruiz, Guadalupe Ruiz, and Linda Rodney Munoz. Today we're going to be sharing with you a little bit of Paul Zielinski, who is a writer of Rapunzel, the winner of the Caledot Medal. You might be wondering, what did Paul Zielinski do in order to win the Caldecott Medal? Well, he became the winner of this prestigious award because of his book Rapunzel. In 1998, according to John Stewart of the Board of Committee of the Caldecott Medal winner, he states that his book had an extended vocabulary. He had amazing vivid pictures that illustrated the story behind and to make it all better, he had an amazing storyline that was captivating that showed different themes which up to today many generations can relate with. But who is Paul Zielinski? He is an American illustrator and writer. He was the son of a mathematics professor and his mother was a medical illustrator. With time he developed a love and passion for drawing but had no idea that this was going to become his career until college. His first book appeared in 1978 and since then he has been recognized as one of the most inventive and critically successful artists in the field. Besides winning the award in 1998, Paul also has won the Caldecott honors for three of his books, The Fame of Hansel and Gretel in 1985, Rumble Silkskin in 1987, and Swamp Angel in 1995. To add on to his list of awards, in 2018, Paul was given the Carl Honor Award for illustration, meaning that he is now a well-recognized illustrator. Rapunzel tells the beautiful story of a little girl who is captured by a witch in exchange because her parents eat the forbidden plant known as Rapunzel. In exchange, the witch takes the little girl to a lonely tower. With time, her hair starts to grow into a beautiful golden color. With time, a handsome prince ends up discovering Rapunzel and climbs up with her here where he then sets her free and finds true happiness. There are many things that we can get out after reading this book. The first theme that stood out is greed. Her parents eat the forbidden plant even though they knew the consequences of it. Secondly, the witch takes a child that does not belong to her just to satisfy her own. The second theme that stood out was resilience. Rapunzel is forced out of her tower by the sorceress and has her two children by herself in the forest. Here, we can see that she had courage and that she had the ability to come out of the conditions she was going through as rough as they might have been until she was set free by the prince. Our last and perhaps our favorite theme is freedom. First, the prince is saved by Rapunzel with her tears from him not becoming blind. And last, we know already how the prince set Rapunzel free from the tower and the bad witch. Hello. Hola. Today, I am joined by my son, Lance Rolimonios for the reader response on Rapunzel, the award-winning book by Paul Zelensky. I am Linda Rolimonios. How do you feel after reading this story? Would you recommend this book to anybody? Why or why not? I feel happy after reading the book because Rapunzel and her friends were reunited together and lived a long life together, happy and contented. Yes, I would recommend the book to someone. I would recommend the book to my friends, cousins, and my aunts because 
I want to know how they feel after reading the story and compare it to my feeling. What was your favorite part of the story and why? My favorite part of the story was when the prince cried. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your long hair. When I was a little girl, I used to have long hair. And I would go to the window and open it and pretended to be Rapunzel and waited on my imaginary prince charming to rescue me. Thank you. Gracias for tuning in. Did you know that Rapunzel is actually Rampion in English? Interesting, right? No, the name of the story was kept by its German name Rapunzel, and Rapunzel is actually a plant. I bet you didn't know that one. Well, let me ask you a question now. What do you think would happen if the husband didn't get some of Rapunzel's plant for his wife? Hmm. Leaves me wondering whose fault was it, the wife or the husband? Hmm. I'm guessing some of us will be having the same Adam and Eve argument after this, right? Paul Falinski version of Rapunzel is amazing. We can see the different genres such as children literature and fiction books. Up to the day, Many children love the stories, and you can actually see the difference from Rapunzel and its latest version, Tangled, which most of our children in this generation are watching. Here are our references, and we hope that you enjoyed and learned from our presentation. Thank you. Ah, herunter. Dann nimmst du ihn und kämpfst dich damit. Dein Haar wird dann so lang, dass es bis zum Boden reicht. Erst dann werde ich zu dir heraufkommen können. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, lass dein Haar herunter. Schön, dass ihr da seid. Ja, mein Kind. 